Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. Okay, so uh, for, you know, news going on today, not much, but we do need to give you a little bit of news about what's going on in competitive this weekend because the finals of FNCS are coming up. So let's read this little blog post that they have for us. Watch the Chapter 2 Season 5 FNCS Finals in Party Royale. Hey, Fortnite fans, on March 14th, you'll be able to hop into Fortnite, into Party Royale to watch the Chapter 2 Season 5 FNCS Finals starting at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the show will begin with EU coverage on the big screen as we prepare to crown our FNCS champions in EU, NA East, Brazil, and NA West, all within Party Royale. Here's a closer look at the schedule. All times are listed in Eastern Time. 2 p.m. is the Fortnite Championship Series. Finals begins. 2.15 will be the live EU coverage. Uh, 6.15 p.m. will be uh, live NA East coverage. 10.15 p.m. will be live NA West coverage. And 1.30 a.m. will be the approximate end time. Uh, again, that's all in Eastern time. Don't forget to select the language of the broadcast you want to watch before joining Party Royale by entering the settings in the main menu, Language and Region, Language. If your client is set to Portuguese, the broadcast will follow this format. Uh, 3 p.m. will be Fortnite Championship Series Finals Begins. 3.15 will be the live Battle Royale coverage. And 6.30 p.m. will be the approximate end. See you at the big screen. Uh, so, of course, you can go watch it on Party Royale. Of course, they are going to have it on uh, their, uh, you know, streaming platforms as well. Uh, Twitch, if you want to go watch it on Twitch. Or, you know, just go uh, watch your favorite player streams and, uh, you know, watch uh, whoever it is you're rooting for. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the other thing that we got to talk about today, of course, is uh, a new some new challenges. We got a new uh, set of challenges to come out today. So you need, uh, we'll go through everything that you're going to have to do uh, throughout this week. You need to dual characters, five in total. You need to uh, have uh, distance traveled through sand, 500 meters uh, then you'll need to spend 5 seconds within 20 meters of enemies while sand tunneling. And then uh, you need to spend bars, spend 500 bars, so spend that money. Uh, then you need to purchase an item from a character. Uh, and again, you can spend bars and purchase an item from a character uh, all in one go. Or that looks like, oh no, that looks like that'll be like the next step type of thing so you'll have to spend bars and then that'll be the next one that unlocks and then you need to upgrade a weapon and then you need to get intel from a character and you need to hire a character so that's all the challenges this week uh as the week goes along we will give you uh tips on how to get these challenges done uh, let's go ahead and head right on over to the item shop today and see what's in the item shop. Uh, we still have the Master Chief bundle here. Uh, and then we have the Synapse outfit with the Hollow Pack back bling for 1500 uh, The Wild Card outfit with the Cuff Case back bling for 2000 The Pharaoh Shuffle wrap for 500 uh, the Subterfuge music for 200 The Laugh It Up emote for 500 The Pirouette emote for 200 uh, Let's see here. Uh, we have a new item, the Champion's Crest Back Bling. Show them your credentials for 200 V-Bucks. This is the FNCS. It's like a holographic back bling that you can have on there uh and this is just here for this weekend while fncs is going on uh for chapter two season five so if you want this fncs uh back bling you got to get it this weekend again 200 v bucks for that uh the guff outfit with the fluffle bag back bling is here for 1200 this is one of my favorites uh we have the regal floof harvesting tool for 800 
the Atlantean fish stick with the Titan scale back bling for 1,200. The fish sticks harvesting tool for 800. Uh, let's see here. The Kratos bundle is still here. The uh, We have the, a whole bunch of the icon uh, stuff here today. So the laser beam bundle here. The Gref bundle is here. Uh, the Lachlan bundle is here. The um, uh, Loser Fruit bundle is here. And the Ninja bundle is here. So all that stuff is added back in. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, and it's all been here before. Uh, so I'm not going to go over each individual item and how much uh, they cost today. But just know that, uh, you know, if you've been wanting any of your favorite icons like Laser Beam, the Gref, Lachlan, Loser Fruit, or Ninja, they are in the item shop right now. So you can go get them uh, if you've been waiting for those to come back. Uh, but yeah, that's everything in the item shop, so you can get any and all of these items using code MikeDaddy, M-M-M-I-K-E-D-A-D-D-Y, in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Okay, so we're getting near the end of the season, and instead of doing a tip of the day today, I kind of want to do an open discussion. I'd love to see some discussion about this in the Discord, some more discussion about it in Discord. And if you're watching this on YouTube, some comments uh, down below in the comment section. Uh, but this is something that uh, I saw come up in the Discord the other day and uh, kind of came up when I was playing with a group of uh, people in the community uh, the other day as well. I was playing with Bob, Den, I was playing with Echo Bucket and Trash Josie. And it kind of came up the uh, I, the idea of the of the storm and how fast it moves and you know how you know and again in the discord people were talking about how there's not enough people in in the circles like early in game sometimes you might only have uh 20 or 30 people left uh before the first uh s uh storm even closes on the circle which can make a, for a, a boring game if you're spending forever looking for enemies to fight uh, so here's a couple of things that I think uh, could be done because Fortnite does a great job of, you know, taking what other games have already implemented it and then implementing it in Fortnite and, uh, you know, perfecting it. Now, uh, I have not played Warzone myself at all, but from what I understand, when uh, I was playing with the gr those group of guys the other day, Echo Bucket was saying how... Uh, the storm does a lot more damage early on. So you really need to be funneled in towards the first zone uh, a lot faster. Now, I think that's something that Fortnite could use. Uh, maybe you could also have a faster moving zone, or not a faster moving, but uh, less time before, before the, I mean, yeah, less time uh, before the next zone starts to move, before the storm starts moving again. Uh, because uh, it can f seem like it takes a long time in the beginning game. They're giving you a lot of time to loot there. But uh, if you just had a little bit less time, it would give you more urgency to start moving in sooner. And then it would also give you maybe some more incentive to land where that first circle is going to be. And that could add for more action as well. Now, the other thing I uh, heard people say was that you could make it so the lobbies were 150 people. Uh, and I know that is something that people have talked about before as well. Uh, and that could be a possibility just to make sure that there's more people in the, in the game. I don't know how that would look, you know, with so many uh, builds going on, you know, how is that going to affect the servers in the, in the game and how is that going to affect the quality of the gameplay? Uh, so I'm not sure how that would actually work or if it, that would be good, but I would like the idea of faster moving zones uh, just to get people... You know, especially those first two or three circles, if there was less time, uh, I feel like that would that would kind of eliminate the problem of, hey, everybody already eliminated each other before the first circle even closed while everybody, because they all landed in one hot spot. And then and then you were given like five minutes before that next circle was going to move anyways. If you if you 
you know, cut that time down a lot. It would get everybody moving and uh, a lot more people be alive because a lot more people are going to be on the move. Uh, hopefully that would be the case, but I'd love to hear some of your ideas out there. What would you do to make it so that there was more players in the middle and end game, especially in public matches uh, right now, right? That's the kind of the issue we're talking about. It's not such a problem in a competitive mode, but in public matches, sometimes the matches can feel long and, uh, and drawn out if you can't find an enemy because there's already only 20 people left before the first storm has even closed in. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts out there and know uh, uh, what you think. Uh, but that's going to be the episode for today. So go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. It's Mike Daddy on all of those. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm. <laughs>